Hey guys, through here we're gonna play some Star Citizen today. I'm gonna show you a cool station I found was so uh, messing about a bit in space and uh, for looking for some different uh, places and designs. And I found a really cool station on an asteroid, um, kind of like a rundown place. Great design, brilliant ideas. Um, you can actually walk outside on the moon. It's located on the moon, so you can go outside. Um, I think it's brilliant, so I want to show you how it looks. Alright guys, so we're in a really tight space in here, in bed. But look at this fucking design, man. I love this game. I mean, game is shit, but design is awesome. Um, yeah. Trim sheets, folks. Trim sheets. I see trim sheets everywhere now. Wherever I look, it's a trim sheet. Uh, all these are trims, yeah. So... If you don't know, we released a course with Josh uh, yesterday. It's uh, all about trim sheets, and all these here are trim sheets, I guarantee you. None of this is Geo. Look at this place, man. I think it's incredible. They're using some algorithm to... Uh, pop designs together and I think that there's a designer coming in and cleaning this thing up, but uh, man It's like a porn for sci-fi lovers It's just incredible I love the complexity of it the cubicles um, There's a building in Japan in Tokyo. It's called uh, capsule tower. Look it up. It's from 70s it's called Metabolism Architecture. I think this is kind of uh, like it, you know. Sort of the kind of a vibe. Wicked stuff, man. I really like looking at those details, you know. Um, just studying how they detail stuff. How they place details. This is a good example of uh, 7030, you see where details are located on sides um, but not in the middle, so the middle is actually, you know, peaceful but the sides are with details and then you got decals running on both sides then the symmetry is broken with this uh, opening and a different plate on the bottom so, different design with some tiny little decal it actually looks Japanese. No, it's not. I think it's in English. Anyway. Yeah, this is pretty badass. Some layered ceiling. You can see rocks popping through. This station is really well made. Uh, lack of texture in here. So you see, even the, the best designers, you know, the best gaming developers, they fuck up sometimes. Look at this shit, there's no texture there. The rock texture is missing. So, don't be scared to, you know, make mistakes because everyone makes them. And these guys are paid millions of dollars, right? So, fuck that. Maybe someone from Ubisoft or Bethesda. Internship or something. Came in to lower the standards. This trim is really good. It's kind of a piling effect that it's, you know, you can barely see it, but the details, and uh, this is what's it about. This one is really cool, too. The cool about, you know, the cool thing about stuff like this is that it looks as if it. You know, could be, I don't know, pulled or whatever, but it just probably doesn't do anything. But the illusion sells the the functionality, right? Same texture here on stairs. Probably decals as well. Hmm, I could model this, something like that. That's pretty cool, actually. Suspended on some pistons or whatnot. Subdematics. These fuckers, man, they're awesome. Wow. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right. Wait a minute. The exit is in here. That's pretty cool too. Very simple, but at the same time complicated, you see. And also when you design something, you need to remember you're gonna be adding, te adding text and stuff, so you need to incorporate that into your design. So if you know, if you're gonna have a lot of details going on and then you're gonna add details on top of it, it might look like a Christmas tree from a bad fucking movie. What the hell is going on here? Texture is missing? What is this? Oh, it's some kind of a monitor? I think there's a texture gone or something. Huh. That's funny. Alright, let's go outside. Yeah. That's a pretty cool environment. Could create something like this in Blender, you know, like with uh, sculpting, sculpt some interior, uh, like a rock. And maybe deform it with lattice or something, and, you know, put some 3D inside of it. These supporting pounds are cool. Kind of like a building a subway or something, and uh, like power spokes or whatever, supporting all that. And everything is, you see, like even if it's arrayed, right? It's arrayed in a way that it's not symmetrical, so it suggests that, you know, humans build it and it's not supposed to be identical on each side. It sells the complexity of the environment, it's really... All these small details are so important, right? See, like, here is even, but here isn't. That's pretty cool, man. Probably no one's gonna notice it except people who designed it and me. There's even a light underneath. Join us. So it's like an invitation to a cult or something. There is a ship store in here. I might pop to see it. Um, wait, back in a hub. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Not this way, this way. Think straight. Last time I've been here, the, the ships were gone. I, I logged in to show uh, Josh and everything was gone. All the ships, everything. This gate is amazing. That is pretty badass. I'm not gonna lie. Looks like a industrial elevator or something. Anyway. Okay, where's the... Uh, I think it's in here, through the customs. Yeah, this is a pretty cool area too. These are terminals to recovery of vessels. It's very, very simple geo, really. It's just uh, the way texture is applied, it just kind of makes it complicated. Anyway, uh, let's go to the store. Some kind of a chase of a vehicle, like a ship or whatever. There we go, the back. Awesome.
Yeah, we could model something like that, like a flat engine. That's pretty cool, actually. The front one is awesome. That looks a bit funny, like from a sci-fi movie from 50s. I'm not crazy about this design. However, this one is more like it. Look at these fucking engines, holy shit. Wow. Oh, that's trim sheets too. All around here. Let's get in. This is a cool trim, especially the one with the screws, that's actually a good idea. Some screws and, and notches and like tiny wedges to pull this up, that's pretty cool. Nice. This one is cool too, what I like about the design here. Is that very often you have like a multi-layered stuff, you know, like a layer upon layer upon layer. So it's not like you look in the abyss of blackness through the grate, but you actually can see some shit underneath. And you got two or three layers underneath, which is really awesome. And that's what sells this thing as, you know, being realistic. Um, like you see some same here, you got layer upon layer. Nothing is simple in here, even the fucking door. Sick. Now that is a cool trim. Also, really nice material, too. Some lighting problem. Mm. These seats are incredible. Holy shit. I'm pretty sure they uh, actually modeled them based on some real life, you know, uh, pilot seats from some jets or whatnot, because there must be some reference for this stuff. It's just too complicated. That's incredible, man. Look at this shit. Holy fuck. What the hell? Alright. <laughs> Let's go here and see. Physics. Because why not? Right, so... That's a funny thing. You see this element here? It's actually repeated. The same element is, I think, somewhere on the top here. So they reuse props. See this one? It's just rotated, so it kind of looks different, but it isn't the same shit. Well, there you go. Alright, guys. Well, um, I think that will be it. Just a quick one. 
wanted to show you the station because I think it's incredible for um, you know some ideas. That is a cool panel. Holy shit, that's brilliant. Look at that. I never thought I'm gonna get so wet on a you know looking at a floor panel, but that's pretty hot. Where's my door? That's the one. Look at this ceiling, man. Jesus Christ. That beam is really cool, too. I really would give a lot to see how they put this together, you know, like... Uh, I have a vague idea, but I would love to see that on my own. With my own eyes, you know. Like, just the process, even a time-lapse, because... Exorcist? Alright then. How can I kick someone in fucking bowls in this game? Oh, disappeared. There you go. It's called Fear. Alright. Yeah, this reminds me of a statue in some communist, communist country. Fucking revolting shit. Um, yeah, this place is amazing. Look at that. That's a lot of some seriously skilled texturing went into this one. This is crazy, man. So rich in detail and... Uh, and randomness. I think the randomness is the most astonishing thing in here. Could have been some algorithm, but... Uh, but there must be some human factor in this. Alright guys, well, um, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this short vid, just wanted to show you, you know, inside of Star Citizen, this is, I think, is, you know, amazing station, by the way, you can actually go outside if you want to and walk out there on this crazy moon, so it's possible, so if you want to, you can pop outside, there's a, a airlock here, you can go out, um, you can fly around this station too. It's it's a pretty cool one. It's actually bugged at the moment, so you cannot get in, um, sort of like navigate to it. You need to fly till you find it. And uh, but it's worth it because uh, the amount of uh, you know references here for sci-fi is just fucking every turn is awesomeness. Sick stuff. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and catch you in the next video.